This is the exact same as going on a, on a cooking show. Have everybody watching you. Have the, the camera on you. Yeah. It's the exact same. So this is your cooking show. I said Carissa is an um, awesome young lady. Uh, what, a, uh, what a passion to help people. Even though she has a disability, but she has a passion to help other people. Um, and she liked to introduce them to her, her world. When I, when I first met Carissa, almost 14 years ago, she would watch me cook all the time. And she said, can I help? And I say, sure. And uh, she would make a menu every week to go to the grocery store. We used to shop every Tuesday. Before Tuesday to get here, the menu would be done on the weekend. Everything she wanted to buy. But I heard, so Carissa's gonna do a, with some <laughs> famous chef? Famous, yeah. or famous Are you the chef. famous chef? Right. Are you the chef? Okay. Me. Oh, okay, I'm, all right. I'm a chef. Oh, okay. <laughs> We have talked to you up. What restaurant? Uh, it's a restaurant called Nico, down on the Gold Coast. Okay. Um, so I'm the chef de cuisine. You know, for me, cooking is, you use kind of these words to kind of communicate emotion. And one word that I really like to use, and it's one that a chef used to use a lot that I worked for, and it's convivial. And it's kind of this idea of communally sharing that I think is really cool. All right, so Carissa, we're, we're here at your house. How long have you lived here? Uh, about six years. Six years? Yes. You like it here? Yes. When you cook at home, who do you cook for? For me, Corey, Debbie, Annette, and Sky. Wow. So you cook for everybody? Yes. Do they like your cooking? Yes. They do? Yes. Do you do you make your favorite foods or do you make their favorite foods? I make their favorite foods. You do? Yes. <laughs> I I kinda do the same thing. It's more it's more for them than for us, right? Yes. Yeah. I think the involvement and care that she shows with um, the people that she lives with and that she cooks for is super cool and it like it was something that very much spoke to me. Carissa um, this ha just have a love and, and a passion for gardening. She have a, a fash, uh, passion for designs, for clothing, for makeup. She's girly girl. She's just like a regular, regular young lady. She just happened to have a disability. Because I think this population is historically is kind of seen, but not heard. You know, like when we go to those restaurants, people just assume that only a certain type of person is supposed to be here. So they're not supposed to be a person who is going to um, smile or yell out when they're happy. And so I think that is, to me, that's that's important. Um, and I think the more they're out, the more people will say, "Okay, this is normal." Just like, I guess, everybody who deals with our, our state budget, for this population, we're like, like close to last in the U.S. as far as supports and, um, supports and money um, dedicated to FR percentage. They are who they are for the rest of their lives, so it's important for places like this to have the resources and the state funding, um, private funding, um, and support um, from the community so that you know so they can you know sustain it. More people to be a, when you hear autism of uh, support we need more support. We, uh, we don't need a lot of people talk we need more action behind it. See, we need volunteers like I said we need people to come and donate and to find out what Remnant is really about or any agency is really about and support the agency. Just have, just have a passion and a love and get an understanding and knowledge goes a long way. Chris, am I doing it right? Yes. Those ones are okay? Yes. And I remember like just over and over again talking about like some of the things that she loved and tacos like kept coming up. Like there was a thing that she loved to make 
and love to eat and love to like make for other people. And so I, I was like, well, we're an Italian restaurant, like we can't do a taco, you know what I mean? But then thinking about like different forms that it could take and this flatbread is really good and it can be kind of like a crispy tortilla, you know what I mean? It's like a crispy taco. Carissa. So this is the dish that I made for you. It's um, it's kind of like a flatbread. And it's got some shrimp and octopus. Mmm, this tastes good. Awesome. We did it. <laughs> for me, it was a very special time to get to spend with her and to just get to know her. It was, it was really cool. It was really, um, honestly, like eye-opening. And I wanted to be able to present something to our guests that is hopefully just as eye-opening or as eye-opening as we can make it um, while it's, it's still in this restaurant.